Oh no. Hello everyone! Welcome back to On The World Stage. If you're new here, my name is Marielle and I live in Japan. Today I'm going to be doing a video I've been planning for a very long time. In order to make this video, I have been hoarding Kit Kats for approximately six months so that I would have the best selection possible for this video. <laughs> if you didn't know already, Japan is kind of unique in the way that they have many different flavors of Kit Kats. I don't know why this is, because uh, in most other countries, Kit Kats like, just have a few flavors. Usually it's just the typical chocolate Kit Kat, but Japan's a little different and every season they're putting out new flavors of Kit Kats. Tourists who come to Japan tend to buy unique flavored Kit Kats as souvenirs. I am going to count all the Kit Kats and introduce them first and then I will get into trying them. Okay, so allow me to introduce our Kit Kats for today. Otona no Amasa which is sweetness for adults. Mont Blanc, peach, pistachio, melon, chocolate orange, strawberry milk, for coffee break, cheesecake flavor. And last but not least, we have our little rum raisin Kit Kat bites. All of the packaging for these Kit Kats the big package is paper. A couple of years ago, they introduced this packaging and they introduced some origami that you can make with the packaging. I think I made a YouTube video of that a very long time ago and failed terribly. Like this is the point where I feel like I should have decided if I'm going to give up or not. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, we are back in business. I am going to make origami. I'm not gonna be a failure. I live in Japan, damn it. But yeah, so Kit Kats, you can use the packaging to make origami, so some kids might do that. Well, I have a lot to eat, so let's get started. In order to protect my health, because um, I, I really don't eat like so many sweets recently, so this might be a shock to my system, I'm going to be eating one half of the Kit Kat and then putting the other half on this plate and then leaving it for my housemate. Also, I have this whole water to drink. I'm gonna stay very hydrated during this, but I'm doing this for you and for myself because I want to try the Kit Kat. But, okay, the first one I'm going to try is the Otona no Amasa. So this is a sweetness for adults. So yeah, um, sometimes in Japan, I notice that they brand things like for adults specifically. Apparently Kit Kats are for children. They had to make one just for adults. I don't know the best way to open this. It's paper, so I can just rip it, but yeah. Very nice, very fancy, very elegant. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Why does it look a little melted? Yeah, it says it says it's still good until July. It's looking a little strange to me. I got chocolate on the floor. It's fine. Itadakimasu. So it seems to be a blend of white chocolate and um, chocolate. I don't know why it's for adults. It's just white chocolate and chocolate. I, th I think kids should be welcome to try it as well. I feel like I should rate the Kit Kats. Otona no Amasa. I will give a five. It's just a five. It's not good, it's not bad five for me. Okay, now this one I'm so excited for. I actually had to search for this one. Mont Blanc. It's a chestnut dessert, so it's basically cream, meringue, and then topped with this like chestnut spaghetti it looks like. It's really strange looking dessert, but I love it. Yeah, they came out with this special flavor in the fall, and uh, I've been dying to try it, so let's try it. Mm -hmm. 
I think this packaging is particularly cute. It has like a little shop that sells the Mont Blanc and a little picture of the Mont Blanc and I just think it's so adorable. It says Autumn Sweets Fair Mont Blanc. Oh, this one's in perfect condition. Amazing. Okay, beautiful. Look how did I get last? I can actually taste the chestnut in this one. Mm. So the outside is chestnut flavor, chocolate. And the inside is um, chestnut and rum. I guess I can taste the rum flavor a little. It is really good. It's a gentle flavor. I'm glad I ate it early. I think I'm gonna give that one, I don't wanna start like too high. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. It was a solid one. One of my favorite desserts and they did it perfectly in a Kit Kat. I also had to search for this one hardcore. Okay, this is a pistachio Kit Kat. Little squirrel. I had to hunt for this one. When I found it, I was so happy. So yeah, pistachio has been such a trend in Japan this year. So pistachio flavor everything. And of course they had to make pistachio Kit Kat. So it looks like this one is normal chocolate flavor on the outside and then pistachio cream in the middle. So let's see if it actually has a strong pistachio flavor at all. Oh, these have some different designs. Wait, look. Green, blue, yellow. So cute. I'm gonna eat yellow because it's my favorite color. It's in good condition. Looks like your average Kit Kat. Right, they're not really making a sound today because they're a little soft from it's getting warmer in Japan. Okay, but did I can last? Can you see that it's green? I don't think you can see that it's green. It's green inside. Oh no. Oh no guys. I can't really taste the pistachio. This was my fear. I was so excited for this one, but I was worried that the pistachio wouldn't be strong enough. I might have been right. It was so subtle. That chocolate was kind of like a darker chocolate. The chocolate outside was really good, but I was too focused on that to taste the pistachio. I couldn't really taste the pistachio. I liked it more than the adult sweetness one, so I'll give it a six, but I wanted to give it like something higher because of pistachio, but yeah, I lost points because I couldn't really taste the pistachio. So, oh well. Okay, so in Japan, like cheese and cheesecake flavor are really popular. So, of course, they had to make a Kit Kat out of it. I like the very bright yellow packaging. Cheese! I like that photo. Nice baked cheesecake. Good, it smells like a cheese. It just smells like a cheese. Why does this just smell like a piece of cheese? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this smells like cheese. It smells like a cheese. <laughs> I can't even say it smells like a cheesecake. It actually smells like a piece of cheese. Itadakimasu. Mm. Okay, that one, they got the flavor right. It's not another pistachio. Okay, it was good. I think for achieving the flavor that they said it would be, and just like the quality and how much I enjoyed it, I would give it a seven, lucky seven. Okay, so I'm going to get into my fruit flavors now. So my first fruit flavor is strawberry milk. It makes me nostalgic for my childhood because as the unhealthy American I was, when I was a child, I loved to drink strawberry milk. I have a lot of memories of like going to the bagel shop, going to the donut shop and getting strawberry milk. That sounds so unhealthy, but that's just the American way. <laughs> but yeah, this package is gorgeous. Why is this package beautiful? I don't even want to open this. I feel like this should be my wallpaper or something. In Japan, they like to like say the word milk in flavors. Like milk is a very, 
um, appetizing thing in Japan. They'll often put milk in the name of a dessert or in the name of a flavor because it's kind of appetizing to people in Japan. Or in Japanese it'd be miruku, like they would say. They wouldn't say yunyu, which is how you say milk in Japanese. They say like the um, English derived way, miruku. The inside is even cute. Look at these. Look at these. These are so cute. They're so aesthetically pleasing. The green one. And there's even a little purple one. Blue one is pretty. Let's have blue one. Okay. It smells so strong of strawberry. It smells so good, everyone. Okay, here we are. Oh, that had a nice crack. That I can ask. Wow. It tastes like strawberry yogurt. It makes me want to go pick strawberries. Or like dance in a field. I'm gonna give it an 8. It tasted like strawberry yogurt to me. It's very nice and I love the packaging so I'll give it an 8. Okay, another beautiful package. We have peach! Japanese peach. Yeah, in Japan the peaches are pink. That's why if you go on your emojis the peaches are pink and not orange. Yeah, and they actually have instructions of how to make a peach origami on the back which I will not be trying because I'm terrible at origami but I should make my students do it. Okay, the packaging is beautiful again. Look at these. Gorgeous packaging. Beautiful. Okay, let's have peach. Let's check the condition. Oh no. Can I give a 10 already? I think I can because I'm only trying four more. This is a 10. It's the best Kit Kat I've ever had, for sure. I've had a lot of different flavors of Kit Kats. That was the best I've ever had. The outside chocolate was this like very perfect peach flavor. It tasted just like a peach. But then there was a tanginess, like you're actually eating a peach inside. Just the aftertaste in my mouth is so good, I don't want to eat anything else. Okay, that is my recommendation. That is my recommendation. I think they're still selling these right now, actually, if you can get them. But the Peach Kit Kat is divine. 10. 10. Strong 10. I, I would give an 11 if I could. 10. Wait, I'm making the rules. Maybe I can't give an 11. Here's my rule. That was a 10. If I taste another Kit Kat that's better than it, I can give an 11. But I don't think I will, so that's a 10. I have very high expectations for the next one. This is melon. Okay, melon is one of my favorite flavors in Japan. So, if any Kit Kat is going to beat the peach one, it could be melon. Packaging is so much fun. In English, this would be a cantaloupe, I guess. I only recently saw these around sakura season. I don't know why they weren't putting out like sakura flavored Kit Kats. They had melon ones, so I don't know, but it's cute and colorful. Love those. Wait. American friends out there. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say the trident gum, like the orange trident gum? This smells like the trident gum and it kind of is the same color as well. I I'm worried I'm just gonna think I'm eating the gum, but let's see how it goes. Mm. It was a good melon flavor. It was a good melon flavor. But as you can see from my reaction, it's not beating the peach one. So it did not live up to my expectation. I've had a lot of melon chocolate and melon candy before. And that wasn't my favorite. It was good, but it wasn't my favorite I've had. So I actually might give it a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. It was, it was satisfying, it was good, but it wasn't like, like yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna spice it up a little with some of these bites. So 
So they sell these Kit Kat bites in the convenience stores and they change the flavors. Occasionally they will have something interesting. Sometimes they just have normal ones. Rum raisin is quite popular in Japan. As I said, they like rum flavor and chocolate. So rum raisin got quite popular this year. Yeah, so I'm gonna try these rum raisin bites. They just look like this. They're a good movie theater snack, I just thought. I can smell the rum. I can smell the rum from them. Okay, thank you, miss. Okay, this tastes like there is alcoholic percentage in it. The rum flavor is strong in this one. But actually, wait, they did a good job. I can actually taste the raisin too. I'm gonna have one more and just see again. Mm. You know what, I can actually taste the rum and the raisin. I thought it would just be the overpowering rum flavor, but I taste a great balance of both. I'm gonna give it a 9! That was my second favorite. I'll give it a 9, it's really good. I'm really excited about this one because I love chocolate oranges and this is a chocolate orange Kit Kat. Some people don't like it, but I really like chocolate and orange combination. It's popular in Japan and it's popular in the UK. I'd say in America, it's less popular. Yeah, I really like chocolate and orange combination. So I'm excited about this one. I was so happy when I saw these. Nice. Very appetizing, I think, the design. Just a slice of orange, slice of juicy orange with some chocolate drizzle. Mmm, it smells like one of those Terry's chocolate oranges. It's so good. Itadakimasu. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. As you can see from my reaction, I'm gonna give this a 10. I just love this flavor combination. And they did the same thing they did with the peach one where they made the inside tangy, like a real orange. That is so good. 10, it was so good, I love it. Okay, I feel like my next one's gonna be such a letdown after that one. <laughs> Okay, so this is one, it says Kit Kat for coffee break. It makes it look like it's coffee flavored Kit Kat, but I think it might just be a normal chocolate Kit Kat, but they're branding it so that people want to buy it to eat with their coffee. It's just like a whole marketing scheme. <laughs> yeah, um, here we have it. I don't drink coffee, so I don't even know. It's for coffee break. I like the packaging. I think it's a normal Kit Kat, but it tasted so crisp and perfect. Like, I don't know if they made it slightly different than a normal Kit Kat. Did they make it more crisp? Did you hear that? Did they put more wafer in it? Okay. It's just like a very crispy Kit Kat. I feel like I should give it a five. This is just a normal Kit Kat but it was so crispy, I have to give it a six. I don't know if that was my imagination or not, but I'll give it a six. It was a very good Kit Kat. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching my video of me trying a ton of Kit Kats. I'm glad I was finally able to film this video. It's been a long time planning it. Let me know which one of those Kit Kats you would try or which one you have tried, or if you've tried many Kit Kats like me, then tell me like what was your favorite Kit Kat you've ever tried. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me to grow this channel and share Japan with you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Mata ne.